Okay, girls, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what you need to do to create a Venn diagram. So in your instrument research task, you'll need to choose a family from the group of instruments that we looked at in the previous lesson. So remember that we had the brass, we had the woodwind, we had um, the string, we had the percussion, electronic, and voice. So we had all those different families. And you needed to choose... Um, for your assignment, what you'll need to do is to choose three different instruments from the same family. So you've got to choose one family uh, and have three instruments from that particular family. And one of the things that you'll need to do in your assignment is to talk about the uh, compare and contrast of the different instruments by using what's called a Venn diagram. So you may be familiar with a Venn diagram. Can I just have a show of hands, girls, who's used a Venn diagram before? Okay, so most people. Okay, so hands down. The way a Venn diagram works is that you have, you have uh, in this case, three circles. So sometimes you have two or more circles. And basically for each circle, it represents one of the instruments. So for my example, I'm going to do, let's say, the, um, the guitar. Let's call it the classical guitar or the nylon string guitar, which is the one that you work on. Nylon string guitar. And I'm just typing in this text box and making it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And let's say instrument number two might be the violin because I'm going to use the string family as my example. And instrument number three over here, let's do the ukulele. All right, ukulele. So the way it works is that where the three circles overlap in the middle here, you need to write down the similarities between all the instruments. So I'm going to start by saying one of the similarities here is that they all have strings, right? So all of the instruments have strings, uh, all have strings. And I'm also going to say that they're made out of wood. The instruments are made out of wood. Um, and a further similarity is that all of them have tuning pegs. So the violin's got the little pegs that you tune with. So there's the ukulele, so there's the guitar. So they all have uh, tuning pegs, or sometimes they're referred to as machine heads. So there's some of the similarities. Now, where the circles overlap together, like the, like the nylon string guitar here and like the ukulele, then you write down the similarities between just those two instruments, but not in this case the violin. I'll make this a little bit smaller so it fits in the screen. Can you go see that? Can you still read it? Yeah. yeah. So, a similarity between the nylon string guitar and the ukulele is that they each have nylon strings. Nylon strings. However, um, the guitar has six strings and the ukulele actually has four strings. All right, so how many strings does a violin have? It has four as well. So that's a similarity between the ukulele and the violin. So I'm going to say that they have four strings because that's common to the violin and to the ukulele. The guitar, however, only well, has six strings. Um, now... A similarity between the another similarity between the nylon string guitar and the ukulele is that each of them have a sound hole. So they each have a, a round, maybe I should say round sound hole, circular sound hole. Circular sound hole. Whereas something that's unique to the violin is that instead of having holes, it has those F holes. So instead of it having a circle in the middle, it's actually got what they call F holes. So I'm going to say F uh, holes. Does that make sense, girls? Yeah. So what you do is that you choose your three instruments and you, um, you start to make a comparison and contrast. Now, you need to provide more, uh, more detail than what I'm putting in at the moment. The more detail you put, the better your Venn diagram shows a comparison of each of the instruments. But to recap, each circle represents a um, aspect of... Uh, one of the instruments, sorry, and then for each of these areas where they overlap, you write the similarities between those two instruments, and in the middle, you write the similarities between all three instruments. Now, 
For our assignment, you're going to do this using Microsoft Word because it allows us to use what they call text boxes, which are these little boxes, and it lets us put circles and it lets us write and all that kind of stuff. It's harder to do that in Google um, Docs, which is where you're going to do your assignment. So what you'll need to do is that later on, I'll put this as a template on Edmodo. And once you've done your Venn diagram and you finished it, what you then need to do is effectively take a photo of the screen. <coughs> To take the photo off the screen, you need to, the shortcut for it is Command, Shift, and the number 4. Right, so you, on the keyboard, you press Command, Shift, and number 4. This only works on the Macs. On the PCs, it's a slightly different. I think you need to, well, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but to take a photo, you press Command, Shift, 4. So what I'm going to do is press Command, then Shift, and number 4. And have a look at my cursor over here. As soon as I press the number 4, it's now changed into like a selector thing. So what I'm going to do is drag over the top of this and it's going to take a photo. Okay? And it takes a photo and it puts it on the desktop. So over here it says screenshot of my um, Venn diagram. Once you've done that, you then copy this onto your assignment and that's how you get your picture of your Venn diagram into your assignment. Yes? Um, 